What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna bring you my finalized version of Ball Lightning for Xur. We've made it all the way to tier um, 10. Today we've been absolutely blasting and we've been leveling this glyph like crazy. So I wanted to, it's level eight. We're so close to getting it to level 10, which will give it another huge radius increase, which will be absolutely insane for this. So we're gonna go over everything very, very quickly. I'm only gonna talk about the changes from the previous build and just kind of what we're doing. And then we're gonna showcase it a little bit in a actual um, tier and uh, yeah. So let's go over everything that you need to know for the build. Let's get right into it. So first off, we're doing Firebolt, of course. We're going to go into Chain Lightning because this is going to be both of our enchantment slots here for Firebolt as well as Chain Lightning. This is going to be our main source of Crackling Energy as well as um, um, getting all of our mana to keep our mana proc full. We got one point into Devastation as well as three points into Elemental Dominance. Um, this doesn't change much. You could actually just put this on Shimmering if you wanted to instead of Mystical Flame, which is actually pretty good. Uh, either one is fine. Then we got teleport into shimmering teleport for DR. We got three points into elemental attunement just to have the chance to reset. Um, ice armor into enhanced ice armor, which is really good. We're maxing out precision magic for even more lucky hits. We got conjuration mastery for every single time a conjuration is formed. So when we have our um, unstable currents, it's going to uh, shoot our lightning spears, um, which will be really, really good to give us some increased damage. We're rocking blizzard which is an MVP of this build. But first, we got three points into Mana Shield protection as well as Align the Elements for maximum mana uh, damage reduction as well as a barrier. This build relies heavily on having a barrier. Then we got one point into Blizzard, and you may be asking yourself, well, why? This is going to be our one um, skill that's going to give us our cold uh, damage alignment for Tal Rasha's, but more importantly, this actually is going to be freezing a lot of enemies, and it has a high lucky hit chance, which is really good for the build. So now we are doing Inner Flames for Devouring Blaze, even more damage. Of course, Ball Lightning into Wizards. However, doing Mage's Ball Lightning is actually really good because getting 50 stacks, surprisingly, is basically non-stop in the Abattoir of Zir. So doing this will actually help stun enemies. However, if, you're having, if you are having issues with getting Crackling Energy and keeping your mana up, then definitely just keep Wizards. It is fine. One point in the Static Discharge for Crit, as well as Invigorating Conduit for Crackling Energy um, to give us more mana. Then we got Unstable Currents uh, into Prime, which is going to give us more attack speed. Coursing Currents for Crit Trance, as well as Electrocution for less DR. And then we're doing Veer's Mastery for even more damage and damage reduction. Okay, you guys might have to let me know down in the comments below um, how, if the damage reduction portion of this is still working. I don't know if this is still bugged. Um, if you feel like this is still bugged and it's not working the way it's intended, then just go with Overflowing Energy um, just to reduce cooldown. However, you won't necessarily need that. I would just still stick, stick it to Veer's and be fine with that. So over the gear, guys, a lot of this didn't change. We're still rocking Harlequin's Crest or Shaco. You can definitely swap in God Slayers. This is also very, very good uh, for the build. I just prefer Shaco just because of the extra ranks to help with my cooldowns here. Next, we're doing Mage Lords for Veer's Mastery, even more damage reduction. Gravitational for Ball Lightning. Then we have Tabalt's Will for even more damage and to help with our mana. Um, then we have Ghost Walkers here for speed farming. If you're not doing Ghost Walkers and you want to push and try to get to tier 10 or go higher, I definitely recommend doing Flicker Step. You will have 100% uptime on Unstable Currents if you do this, okay? You will have 100% uptime if you do that. Uh, next, we have uh, Storm Swell for more damage as well as Conceited for more damage while we have a barrier. Uh, then we got Tal Rashes, of course, for all of our increased damage. Then Prodigies. Which actually, I actually need to swap prodigies out. I don't even know why I'm using this. I'm rocking chain lightning. What am I doing? I'm such a bad player. Let's go over. You actually want, you don't want prodigies. You actually want um, recharging here because of crackling energy. It's going to keep all of your mana up nonstop. I don't know why I had that in there. My mistake. Then, of course, Disobedience to max out our armor. You can see my armor is 7,300, so we're definitely going to be over the 14K cap. We're going to be roughly 15K, um, so we hit our armor cap here, which is super important. Um, next, into our Vampiric Powers, I'm very, very happy about this. We got Metamorphose for 
are a vey to give us some unstoppable paired with prey on the weak which is going to make enemies uh vulnerable as well as we're dealing increased damage uh then we have ravenous for attack speed obviously which fuels ball lightning this is the flex slot if you want i really love saying we embrace it's just get another reason to help keep you alive as well as give you some extra crit and then of course infection which applies our poison which is going to help hit us on that fourth element for tal rashes now over to the paragon board which is uh very 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 important we got some good changes here um the reason that we do not run a curse is because we're going to rock static surge this is what's going to give us um chain lightning to make everything vulnerable super easy and then our other big legendary node of course is going to be frigid fate so we deal even more damage to vulnerable enemies based on our cold up to 30 times i have a 25 percent multiplicative damage i need to increase this five more percent but for right now it really does the job so let's go over our glyphs just to show what we have here we got tears of the blood obviously at level eight then we got adept of course for our mastery skill we got destruction for crit damage and then we have elementalist for the different types of element damage as well as increased after in non-physical then we have reinforced this is very important for the build we're going to get even more dr for having a barrier which is all the time super good and then we got territorial for up close we're we the node that we lost or the glyph that we lost is flame feeder in favor of doing tears of the blood now um tears of the blood is completely maxed out here once you get it to level 10 you're going to extend two more um nodes so you're probably going to have to drop some more points somewhere like a lot of these glyphs are going to go basically minimal so like destruction will go to go down you know um mastery will go down the first ones you probably want to drop first are probably like drop um territorial if you can depending on how that shakes out definitely drop reinforce however like we have the minimal amount right now same thing with elementalist it's minimal so we're probably going to take points out to really max that out so all of this will be down in the link below guys over on mobilitics but this is the build so let's just go ahead and showcase this and showcase how it works we're rocking ghost walkers but i do want to show you like flicker step just to see and let's go in and run this just so you can see how powerful the build is um it looks like after today everybody has been up to about uh tier 10 and higher some tier 12 some tier 15s and so you until you really start to get the glyph leveled up okay really really strong so you can see here that like even flicker step like i already have my alt back you can see i already have my alt back this is a permanent uptime on your ultimate for unstable currents if you decide to run this okay permanent uptime no matter what as you continue to just run through the dungeon super super strong and how much you actually attack is going to reset that evade so it may seem like the plus three evade is better which on paper it may be but with how much you're actually attacking here it's really easy to have permanent uptime i already have my ultimate back super super clutch right super super clutch you're going to be able to just evade through everything non-stop i mean it, it's kind of silly how fast you get this back super strong uh we're just going to grab condi for just to get through the dungeon here. Wow, lethal, super strong. But the build is super fun to play. And uh, once we come out of Condi, I'm going to show you, like, Blizzard is one of the biggest MVPs of the build. Because it literally just freezes stuff and provides our cold damage. Right? You just pop this thing. Uh, when we, yep. Charge it, bring it in. You can freeze enemies. The chill that it puts on it is just kind of silly. Uh, and it's really easy. The only negative that I hate that I don't like necessarily about Blizzard is see how they're all frozen They're just all frozen super easy to tell and they just die It's it's so uh, it like the build is so good. You have so much CC on here. The bosses are here I ran right by them because I'm bad at the game Freeze these guys Well, I mean I know look boom just dead and we're done super easy guys so yeah that's the build it's super strong uh we've taken it again all the way up to t10 we're doing t11s right now we're able to do t11s and, he, and you guys saw that like even the ball lightning for the 50 stacks is super easy we're gonna go over to the um training dummy and i just want to show you how easy it is because it was kind of tough i was trying to highlight a lot of things there so i want to show you how easy it is to highlight like have 50 stacks non-stop when you're fighting right because how it works is 
when you're dealing when you hit an enemy 50 times or more with your your attacks or ball lightning the next attack of that is going to stun now it's so easy to rack up 50 stacks not only on one monster but in these dungeons when you start to climb a little bit there's so many monsters that you're going to be fighting it's kind of crazy so let's see you can see the stacks wind up here super easy look at that constantly 50 and this is just on one enemy right constantly so that means he's stunned for one second every single time we're just spinning around now when we're fighting a group of enemies right you're like rolling up on a pack you drop blizzard you dash in that thing is 50 non-stop and these guys are just being stunned like they can't move right they just can't move right the next cast just stuns them and then they just die it's super easy right so i definitely suggest that however if you are having mana issues then go back to wizards it's perfectly fine you know this isn't a big deal but this will definitely help you when you're trying to push on the build mage balls it's super good you know they just can't handle your balls super easy you're always going to have 50 super super strong so yeah guys i only wanted to go over a few of the actual changes to the build that we made um again god slayers is super fine here if you don't want to run mage bloods and you need more defense then pants like this with ever living is super strong max and ranks all dr and armor like if i was to swap this out then we go up to 900 and then my armor is even higher right then my armor is 14k or 15k we put to vault back on and i'm already at 13.3 so we have no problem hitting those marks at all no problem whatsoever having our max uh, armor we probably want to have it at like 14 um however this is super fine this is super good for the build so yeah guys that is what i've been running and i'm going to continue to run for the abattoir of zir and continue to grind this up we have a lot of videos that came out today and tomorrow um all about the abattoir how to farm efficiently um my overall thoughts go check out all that stuff we got many clips go check it all out on the youtube channel at youtube.com backslash warlug right here and yeah guys like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think um and don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace